as in business and specifically in trading, I want to know when I get into a trade what my rate of return might be, how long I anticipate to be in that trade, and what my probability is. And to help me determine this, I turn to a technical indicator called Average True Range. And in this tutorial, we're going to find our sweet spot to find out how much is enough and to make sure it's not too much depending on our profile. So let's talk about what Average True Range is. It's really nothing magical. It's just a calculation. It takes the plus and the minus movement on a stock and it averages it out over a period of time. Because of the short term time frame that I'm looking at trading, I set mine to a 10 day average, which in the stock market would be two weeks. And for the way that I trade, two weeks is a good trend trade for me for the short term momentum that I'm looking for. And so I want to have an idea of what is normal for this candidate. So let's take a look at why it's important. How long do I expect to be in the trade until it hits my anticipated target? What's normal for the candidate? And if I'm going to trade a more expensive stock or a stock that has a higher average true range, it's going to cost me some more money. And this becomes important when I'm looking at position sizing. Because when I look at how much a stock moves, it's going to be sending punches my way that might trigger my risk management, my protective stop loss. And if I set a a five dollar protective stop loss on a stock that moves ten dollars in a day that might be too tight but if I set a five dollar protective stop loss on a stock that only moves fifty cents well that might be too much and so average true range helps me to determine what is normal for my candidate and if I can afford the risk management to purchase and to play in this deep end of the pool so let me give you an example here on a stock called Priceline ticker symbol PCLN. Now looking at this right here, I've, I've chalked this out a bit so you can get an idea. So let's take this most current candlestick that we've got right here and you can see the range that it's traveling here. It had a high of $412.96 and a low of $404.20. So it's looking at this about an $8 range on that stock on that one day and that's what those wicks are showing me on the candlestick and if I come down here a little bit lower I have my average daily volume and the stock on average trades about 900,000 uh, shares every single day and looking right here at my average true range this is the indicator that I have at the bottom of this pane here and I have it set to 10 days so over the past 10 days price line has been up or down an average of ten dollars and fifty five cents so this just gives me an idea that, okay, these candles in and of themselves don't tell me that much until I can see what the value is here on the dollar amount and its average true range. Now, if I'm going to trade a stock as, a, as high flying as price line, it's going to cost me a little bit more money. So let's look at an option chain for the January call options. Now you can see here the stock's trading at about $410 up here. And if I came down and looked at the January 2011, 390 calls, it's being offered $26 by $26.50. So my spread is 50 cents on that between the bid and the ask. And it has a delta of 74. But with looking at how much that might cost, every contract is going to cost me $2,650. But see, on a stock that moves on average $10 in a given day with a delta of 74, that means I'm going to pick up 75 cents for every dollar. So I could pick up $700 on a contract. So you have to understand that you're going to pay to play. To get that kind of delta on a stock that moves that much, you're going to have a more expensive option and the spreads are going to be a little bit bigger. So let's back it down a little bit and look at the other end of the spectrum. This is on a stock price line that moves over $10 on a given day. But let's take it down and look at a stock that maybe doesn't move quite as much like Microsoft. Well, let's look at Microsoft. I have a high here of $28.20 and a low of $27.86. So right here I'm looking at a movement of about $0.40. Cents, $0.35. Cents. Well, that makes sense because I come down here and look at the average true range over the past week and on average Microsoft moves about $0.38 cents in a given day. 
on one hand, we've got Priceline trading over $10 range on a given day, and Microsoft only trading on average of a range of $0.38. Cents. So average true range helps me get an idea of what normal is. $5 on Microsoft is way too much. $5 on Priceline is too little. And so this helps me determine my risk management and my position sizing. So let's take it a step further, and I'm going to show you an option chain on Microsoft. Now, understanding that options typically expire on the third Friday of every month, and Priceline expires on the third Friday, and this option expires on the third Friday. Now, where we were spending $26.50 for an option, right here, if I look at Microsoft trading at roughly $28, I come down and look at the $27.50 calls, it's $0.98 cents by $0.99, cents. only a $0.01 cent spread there and I've got a delta of 66. So when I look at this, it's a much more affordable, the spreads are tighter, and it doesn't move as much. Because in specifically with trading options and stocks, but we're really looking at buying and selling risk. So let's take a look at what we're looking for and how this helps us in choosing our sweet spot for average true range. See, I want a stock to move, but I don't want it to move too much to where it's out of proportion. So I'm looking for an average true range between $1 and $5. If it's less than a buck, I'm probably going to be waiting around too long. If it's more than five bucks, it's pretty hot, and it's going to cost a lot more, and it can really bite you if it moves against you. And I found that in that range of my average true range, this gives me some good candidates for my position sizing and my time frame of trading. So take it, come back to fundedtrader.com and we'll get up to speed and apply average true range to finding our candidates. Talk to you later.